Hi, I'm Ronnie. Do you have problems saying j and y? Are you a Spanish speaker? Maybe if you speak Spanish, so if you're from Mexico or Spain or other Spanish speaking places in South America or all over the world, it's going to be difficult for you to get the pronunciation of J, like J, and Y, like Y. Do you know why? Because in your language, oh, it's just different, isn't it? It's, oh, it's the opposite. Why does English have to be so difficult with pronunciation? I'm here to help you. Um, maybe you have seen a lesson like this I did a lesson like this a long time ago, years and years ago, really. But we had some audio difficulties, so I'm here to redo it back in the year 2015. Go for a time warp with me. J versus Y. First of all, let's focus on the mouth position and what we do to get the differences in the pronunciation of these letters. The first one, J. Your throat, the air is going to come out of your throat almost like you're yelling. So it's like j, j. Your teeth are a little bit apart, j. And you're going to throw the air out, j, j. It's a very strong sound. Now the Y sound, on the other hand, is not as strong. It's more of a y, y. Think about this. What's the position of my mouth when I make the j and when I make the y? When I make the y, I get to smile a little bit. My cheeks are really tight, so I'm like y, y. When I do the j, j, my mouth is more floppy and wiggly. So it wiggles like jello. The j, your mouth is not as tight, j, and more loose and open. And with the y, y, you have to make your mouth tight. Your cheeks got to be tight. These are your cheeks. Your cheeks have to be tight and y. It's a much softer sound. Let's go through some examples, shall we? Somebody's name, Jojo. Hi, Jojo, how are you? Cool. Jojo, J, Jojo. Oh, it's another name. This is not Juan. Oh no. In English, we say J, John. Hi, John, how are you? Cool, thanks for watching. The next thing we have a really, really fast airplane is a J, J, jet. Jojo, John, jet. You try now. Perfect, good. Next one, the word jeer. What does that mean? That's a strange word, I've never heard that. Jeer means you make fun of someone. It's not very nice to jeer people. This one, another one is a person's name. It could be a boy or a girl, Jess, Jessica, Jesse. So this word is j, Jess. <gasps> Jello. What's jello? Jello is gelatin. It's a dessert. Um, in Canada and in North America, or in, sorry, in Canada and America, um, jello is a brand name of a kind of gelatin. And there was a really famous actor that would advertise jello. Bonus points if you know his name Jello Pudding Pops. We have the months of June and July. So, practice the J sound. Good, okay, so let's move on to the Y. Yeah, 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 yo-yo. What's a yo-yo? I bet you know what a yo-yo is. A yo-yo is a toy. Uh, hmm. It's a toy on a string 
Maybe you are really, really good at playing with a yo-yo. I've never been really good at yo-yoing. Um, it's a noun, it's a verb, just to, didn't work, bored. Ronnie doesn't like to yo-yo. But pronunciation is fun. So this word is yo-yo. You may hear this in some movies and be like, yo, 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 what's up, yo? You have to be careful if you're going to be a cholo gangster, not to say, yo, yo. You have to say, yo, yo. Please be careful. Uh, oh, yawn. Yawn. Yawn means you go, oh, because you're tired. So you yawn. Next, yet. Yet is a kind of grammar word. And it means that something is going to happen, but it won't happen now. So uh, it's like still. I yet have got to get you to, to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Go do it. Year. The year is 2015. Funny story, the other day I was looking at my phone and I realized that it wasn't 2014 anymore. And the thing I was looking at at the supermarket had expired. Ronnie has no concept of years, but now I do know it's 2015. Is the year. Yes. Not Jess. Yes. The color. Beautiful color of yellow. Let's practice one more time. Yo-yo. Yawn. Yet. Year. Yes. And yellow. Oh, oh, we forgot one. Yeast. Yeast is something that we use to make bread or pastries rise. Um, it's also an infection that some people get. Let's not talk about that in the pronunciation lesson. We'll save that one for later. So, the next thing that we have to do, and probably the most challenging thing that we have to do, is comparing the two sounds. So, it's fine and dandy if you can just say the J's, and then you say the Y's, and you're like, yeah, I got it! No, you don't. You will only get it if we do this now. So please, follow along. The J is Jojo. The Y is Yo-Yo. Please repeat. Jojo. Yo-Yo. Make sure that your mouth is really tight for the Y's. Tight mouth for the Y's. Jojo. Yo-Yo. Your turn. Perfect. Next one. Hi, John. How are ya? John. Yawn. John. Yawn. Yeah, yeah, yawn. Jet. Yet. Jet. Yet. Jeer. <laughs> Jeer. Year. Year. What year is it? Not what jeer is it. Jess. Oh, hi, Jess. How are ya? Cool. Yes. Jess. Yes. A lot of the time I hear people say, Jess. Where's Jess? Jess. Jess is here. No, Jess isn't here. You lying. Jessica is not here. Oh, you meant yes. Please be careful. Jello, which is a kind of dessert. Jello and the color yellow. Jello, yellow. Try and say this yellow, jello. It's lime. Lemon. Yellow jello. Um, then we have yeast. The J words, these obviously don't connect, but we have June and July. If you have any other pronunciation problems, please go to my Facebook, which is Ronnie McEnglish, or hit me up on the website. I will be happy to try and help you figure out more of your pronunciation problems. From Jojo, John and Jess, we're out of here.